Welcome. The Bureau of Indian Affairs Division of Energy and Mineral Development invites you to learn about the Energy and Mineral Development Program, also known as EMDP. However you choose to refer it, the EMDP is an opportunity for tribes to receive financial assistance to evaluate the energy and mineral resource potential of their lands through its grants. In this presentation, we will dive into details about the EMDP program, including an overview of program goals, examples of previous tribal projects, and important information about the grant application process. Let's dive into the EMDP grant program, starting with the intent behind the grant. Tribes who have an interest in developing their energy and mineral resources must perform a variety of evaluations and studies, perform iterations of project design and financial modeling. The Energy and Mineral Development Program is designed to support these tasks. Proposal project tasks could include resource inventories and assessments, feasibility studies, or other pre-development studies necessary to process, use, and develop energy and mineral resources. These resources and their uses include, but are not limited to, biomass, wooden waste, for heat or electricity, transportation fuels, hydroelectric, solar or wind generation, geothermal heating or electricity production, district heating, other forms of distributed energy generation, oil, natural gas, and helium, sand and gravel, coal, or precious metals, such as lead, copper, or zinc. EMDP projects may include initial resource exploration, defining potential targets for development, performing a market analysis to establish production or demand for a commodity, performing economic evaluation and analysis of the resource or the project, baseline studies related to energy and mineral projects, and other pre-development studies or work necessary to promote the use and development of energy and mineral resources. First, who is actually eligible for an EMDP grant? Any federally recognized tribe and Alaskan native tribes and villages are welcome to apply. Additionally, tribal energy development organizations or TEDOs are welcome to apply as well. As defined under 25 U.S.C. 3502, Indian Tribal Energy Resource Development Funds may only be used for projects occurring on Indian lands. DEMD consistently receives more proposals than could be funded through the annual budget, which varies on a year-to-year -year basis based on what Congress determines. In 2022, DEMD awarded $11.2 million through the EMDP grant. The EMDP grant allows for funding on potential projects ranging from the minimum request of $10,000 up to the maximum request of $1.5 million. As stated previously, there is no cost match for tribes and there are no fees associated with the grant. While there are no fees or cost match associated, the tribe is responsible for any application preparation costs. The Department of Interior and the Bureau of Indian Affairs are not responsible for the cost of application preparation. Each project will only be funded for one year, so you cannot apply for a multiple year project under the EMDP grant. Submission dates and deadlines are subject to change on an annual basis. For more information, please refer to the Dates section within the Grant Opportunity on Grants.gov on a regular basis. Here is a quick view of EMDP projects funded since 2015. The map highlights a national footprint of diverse projects including a solid minerals aggregate sand and gravel in Hard Rock project with the Aklutna Native Village in Alaska a technical assistance in solid minerals for Fort Independence Indian Community of Paiute Indians of the Fort Independence Reservation in California, and a renewable and distributed generation solar project with the Colorado River Indian Tribes in Arizona. 
Before you can submit an application for an EMDP grant, you must register with both SAM.gov and the Automated Standard Application for Payments, or the ASAP Financial System. SAM.gov will issue your unique Entity Identifier, or UEI number. Your UEI number is required to do business with the federal government and the EMD. This will also be required as a form of ID within the Grants.gov and Grant Solution systems. Both SAM.gov and ASAP profiles need to be in an active status at the time of submission of your application and throughout the review process. Each registration process can take between 7 to 10 business days. Please give yourself plenty of time to register early. Both registrations are active for only one calendar year. If a profile falls out of active status, this can cause potential delays in the submission, review, and potential award process. If you are approaching the one-year calendar mark, please maintain an active profile and register according to your deadline. Grants.gov is a system where you will be submitting your application. We will go over a few important things to assist with this process. To find the grant listing, you can use keywords such as EMDP or DEMD to search the opportunities and retrieve the opportunity number. Keep this number. It will come in handy if you need to search for the grant listing at a later time. Workspace is a newly implemented application management tool within Grants.gov. This allows you to initiate, edit, and save forms required for the submission. Workspace also allows you to track progress and status of forms throughout the submission process. You can look up your file by entering the opportunity number or specific workspace number tied to the submission. Once all forms are completed and submitted, Grants.gov sends the application to DEMD for review. There are plenty of resources that can be found on the Applicant tab within Grants.gov for future assistance. Forms that are required for submission are the SF-424 form, Application for Federal Assistance, the SF-424A, Budget Information for Non-Construction Programs, a Budget Narrative Form, a Project Narrative and Abstract Summary, and attachments include a Tribal Resolution, a Critical Information Sheet, a Key Contact Sheet, and the ACH Vendor Payment Enrollment Form. This form also requires your ASAP enrollment number. The application submission is assessed according to the evaluation criteria specific to DEMD, with a total of 100 possible points available for each application. It is best to remember the more concise and detailed your application is and how this will assist in the review process. It is crucial that DEMD, American Indian Tribes, and Alaskan Native villages and tribal entities maintain communication throughout the life cycle of the grant. The DEMD Project Monitor will be working closely with the Tribal Grant Monitor to oversee the many components of the grant. Periodic updates will be scheduled between the DEMD Project Monitor and the Tribal Grant Monitor, establishing clear communication and a relationship to ensure the success of the grant. If there are any changes, to the Tribal Grant Monitor, Financial Monitor, or the elected Tribal official overseeing the grant, DEMD requests to be made aware of such changes to avoid any delays within the grant itself. The review and award process from start to finish can take anywhere between six to eight weeks. To help answer any questions, we will schedule an FAQ webinar session aimed at clarifying the EMDP grant application process to help you get started. The sessions are intended to support tribes who will apply for the first time and guide you through the process, and for tribes who have questions to improve their applications. We encourage you to share this presentation with your tribe and join us. We will take a few minutes to share some brief information about the division and our mission to serve tribes. Our mission at DEMD is to provide the best possible technical and economic advice and services in assisting tribes and Indian owners in developing their energy and mineral resources. 
These services span across six branches. Our resource-focused commodity branches include renewable and distributed generation, fluid minerals, and solid minerals. These branches are then complemented with capacity building, information management, and business development provided through our branches of business services, NIOGEMS, and geotechnical data. AMDP, Technical and Business Advisory for Tribes. Our technical and business advisory services provide access to our diverse team of subject matter experts at no cost to the tribe. Uniquely equipped to work with tribes to identify and implement your next big enterprise, our in-house capabilities include a range of activities such as technical project evaluations, developing business partnerships, resource mapping, and marketing assistance. As an example, if a tribe has a desire to explore solar energy, we will refer them to our technical experts in renewable and distributed generation for resource evaluations, economic analysis, and project planning. We will also bring in business services to help lend expertise toward business modeling and partner evaluation. This is how we would create an advisory team to help your tribe develop the best approach specific to your unique vision and need. If you are interested in learning more about our technical assistance offerings, the best and easiest way to initiate a conversation is to fill out the technical assistance request form located on our website. A member from one of our teams will reach out to you and schedule an online meeting to discuss your tribe's needs and ideas. You may also give us a call at the number provided on the slide. For assistance with EMDP grants, complete the form and submit to emdpgrants at bia.gov. For other requests not related to the EMDP, send the form to the branch most aligned with the subject of your request using the email addresses listed at the bottom of the form. Thank you for your interest in the EMDP application process. Please feel free to reach out to the DEMD for more information.